are everybody and welcome to Rixboro University where we will be discussing the Bounty Hunter class and the different specs involved in the class. I'll be making two different videos broken up between two parts. The first part will be focusing on the arsenal tree and the second part will be on the pyrotech tree. Now this is going to be a bit different as I want to go into a some technical parts here and there, more for the pyrotech, so the arsenal is a bit different. But let's get started on arsenal. The first thing when you become a mercenary is to figure out which tree works better for you. Now arsenal is more burst class, deals better with multiple targets, is a bit less m mobile, you gotta be stationary for half of your cast, and the damage is very front loaded, so you can do a lot of damage at the beginning, but then you start to fall off near the end. Pyro is the dot class or damage over time class. You have a lot of dots and debuffs on the enemy, and your damage builds up. Pyro is better for more single target consistent burning and can catch and surpass arsenal as the fight goes on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our skill tree and this is pretty much the the basic arsenal spec 636-4 so your 36 in here you get two points you can play around with for me I put them in jet escape to reduce the cooldown of uh, the, the termination by 30 seconds that's your CC breaker so it helps when you're fighting some bosses that have annoying CC's you could put it in afterburners or pinning fire decoy you can put, you got actually put the point to energy rebounder in decoy as well these four or five abilities aren't really key to your class over here you want the three points in advanced targeting it gives your unload and rail shot 30% ignore of the target's armor vent heat high muscle and then you can split your point between system calibration and critical reaction now you can play around and you can take the point in critical reaction and bring it over to system calibration to go 5365 that'll give you a steady 2% alacrity as opposed to 1 plus a chance for 3% more gear wise I think pretty a lot of people no way, your accuracy needs to get to about 100%, as close to 100%. Critical chance needs to be close to 30%. Mine's a little bit less because I'm stemmed and everything. Multiplier 72. And the, all the other points in aim and power. As far as abilities themselves go, now. We have a different set of all abilities. There's a lot of abilities that look cool, but we don't actually need. So your main core abilities, Tracer Missile. Obviously, everybody makes fun of Arsenal Mercenaries who spam Tracer Missile. But it's your key ability. Unload, which actually is your hardest hitting ability, and after 2.7, has gotten a nice buff thanks to the proc from Tracer Missile. Rail Shot, another good hit damage move. Heat Seeker, Electronet. The Thermal Sensor Override and Fusion Missile combo. The reason why you want to always use Fusion Missile with Thermal Sensor Override is because Fusion Missile has 33 heat. I'll explain heat in a brief moment. Vent Heat. That's from above. You can use it for AoE fights. You can even use a single target if all your other cooldowns are down. I'm not a big fan of that. I like to keep it open because you never know when you, when you might need it. And also depending on the fight, your positioning might not be the best. Like if I'm here and the boss is the dummy, I gotta really position my targeting reticle. If I don't position good, like here it's fine, but 
I'm not. I don't like the targeting system for that myself personally. Now, as I was, I mentioned before about the thermal sensor override and arsenal. I mean fusion missile. Sorry. Heat system is the biggest hindrance to the bounty hunter class. As opposed to the commando class that has ammo that goes down, or other classes that have force, power, energy, we have a heat belt system. Every move we have costs heat, and we have, when you're in arsenal, you want the high velocity gas cylinder that reduces the heat of some of your moves. So like rail shots only 7 heat as opposed to like 16 heat and so forth. Now, if you look in your skill tree, there is terminal velocity. While a high velocity gas on the active, you vent 8 heat every 6 seconds. This is the key factor that some people don't know about this ability. This is not affected by alacrity. This is a constant 8 heat. Doesn't matter how much alacrity you have. Which means technically having alacrity in your build can hurt you because you'll be casting faster but you won't be losing heat faster. As far as the heat itself goes, you want your sweet spot for your heat is 40%. After 40%, my, my graphics have since the last patch have completely gone haywire they're all for but in your regular screen you'll see four hours here after 40 percent you'll start to be overheating what that means is the, the more heat you have the slower it'll cool off anything over 40 percent you got to be careful of you don't want to overheat that much unless you have vent heat up now the way Arsenal is kind of tricky is the fact that it is a, how do I say it the best way? It is a priority system. There is no clear set rotation in my mind that you can do, okay, I'm going to do this, 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 and this goes into one endless cycle. You got to go, okay, I have this much heat, what do I have to do? I got You got to incorporate your rapid shots in if you don't have any heat up to keep yourself cool. Which moves can I use till I don't overheat? The longer you stay overheated, the more DPS you will lose. Now, we'll go through a quick rotation or so on the dummy. So we'll get the dummy's health down just a bit. I like to open up with the, with the thermal sensor override into fusion. Some people open up into unload, tracer, unload. I find that doesn't give me the best numbers personally. The reason for this is because now after 2.7, they've changed Barrage, where now you have a 100% chance to finish the cooldown on unload. However, this can only occur once every 8 seconds. Here's my problem with this in 8 seconds. 8 seconds is about close to four global cooldowns or so. What a global cooldown means is when your all your abilities basically go on cooldown at the same time. Now your unload, the one that you actually use to get the barrage, is your first cooldown and you can get three tracers. But the problem is that that doesn't give you the eight seconds to proc the next unload sometimes. So it's still not the best in my opinion. But we'll start off with some opening. Fusion missile, tracer, and just start pop everything you can. The other thing you want to do is you want to always be casting something. You never want dead space when you're fighting. I see a lot of people who struggle in trying to put up some good numbers. And then when they, you look at their pauses, you see their activations per minute. It's listed on top pass as APMs is low. You what that means is that means that you have a lot of dead air in your space. Now you see how that's 70% or so 
and I vented heat. If you vent heat when you're too far max, you actually don't get the full benefit in my because then you even after vent heat finishes, you are still overheating. So now that after you get through the first part and you unloaded everything, now you gotta start working on your actual rotation. So now I'm closing 40 heat, but I pop a rapid shot to keep myself down, go back into a tracer, rare shot. And you see that was about three or four moves in between every unload. So heat seeker, tracer, tracer, unload proct. I'm a little bit over. I'm gonna do rapid shot from one cooldown. Rare shot, tracer, there's my unload. You wanna use unload as much as you can, so that is your hardest move. So I, I did two rare shots, electro net, tracer, there's, there's my proc. One, two, rare shot, tracer, there's my proc. So you see, it's about three to four cooldowns. Now if I did one, three tracers back to back, you see my unload then a proc. Cause like I said, it's once every eight seconds, but necessarily that's not your casting time. So one, two, three, there's my proc. So see, sometimes it proc, sometimes it doesn't. That's why I'm not a fan of the new system. Proc. Now the reason why I'm I'm kind of overheating now is because I can see my event heat is coming off cooldown soon. So you can kind of cheat it and start building up the di the heat now. I pop one, two rapid shots just to help me. Event heat. And you see I'm back down to low heat. And I didn't struggle that much with my heat management. If you vent heat when like over 80 and you're still casting stuff, because you gotta remember that we have the skill that makes our elastic go up by 10%, so all your cash is faster. You'll finish vent heat and you'll still have 20% heat, which defeats the purpose of vent heating in the first place. Now, as we're going around, you see. You want to pack as much abilities as you can into every shot. There's my unload, and overheating, grab the shot, tracer, rail. I'm going to do the tracer and I'm going to precast unload. I already know that it's going to proc. One, two, tracer missile, tracer missile, unload. I already know it's going to proc. That's what you want to be able to predict, is when that thing's going to pop. Another thing I'm going to mention after I do this quick pause is this something you're going to change in your settings. Tracer. It's like clockwork. That's two. A rapid shot. I, cr I actually didn't have to do rapid shot there. That was my, my mistake. And that's going to cost me some DPS. And as we go along, so you see that my goals never exceed 40% that long. The longer you stay over 40, the DPS will suffer. You want to use unload around that 40% mark, just because you'll be, as long as you stay on the 40%, you'll gain something that he back. One, two, that's three. Now uh, this should proc unload. There you go. Vent heat is off cooldown, so now I can go nuts. Don't have to care about my abilities. I can just spam whatever I want. Vent heat. And there's a nice DPS first. And now we go back to our regular schedule system. One, two, tracer. 
what you want to do is that you want to make sure that your crazy missile is near the 8 second cast for your proc. The good thing about the barrage proc is you only need one trace to guarantee it. So it doesn't matter what you do before then, as long as that tracer missile is the last thing that happens. So that's one cooldown, two cooldown, on the rapid shot, a tracer, there's the proc. One, two, Electron that's three, Tracer Mess is four, there's the proc. This is predicting when the proc helps you. And it's actually gonna help you keep your DPS up throughout the whole fight because you're gonna know when unload is gonna come off cooldown. So rapid shot with one, tracer two, tracer three. See it's all cooldown now. I my time was up on that one. That's for some time, like I said, sometimes it's hard to predict it, even with the 2.7 chain. Before it only used to be 45%, so you could do 5 tracer missiles before you even got a proc. I see Ven, he's coming off cooldown, so I'm gonna spam my abilities. Build up the heat. Top my Ven Heat. We're in the burn phase now, less than 10%. Our Ven Heat's off, so now we gotta go back to our regular program to keep ourselves on the 40 Heat. One, two, Three, four, unload. And there is a quick idea to show you exactly what the damage is for the Arsenal Merc. I'm gonna bring this over here to show you guys the damage was about 3k. My my APMs are a bit low for this fight because I did screw up here and there. Your activations per minute should be close to about 34-ish for uh, an, 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 uh, an Arsenal mercenary. So it wasn't the best pass. Grant, I was talking a bit during the fight. Obviously, as you saw, I'm not stimmed, no adrenals. Gear is close to like full 78s. A few enhancements need to be fixed here and there. Relics and earpiece and whatnot. But this gives you the rough idea. Now, the other thing I mentioned during the pause that you want to check in your preferences, you want to go to controls combat your ability action Q window I believe the default is set to 5 to 0.5 as a mercenary you should change it to one second what this means is it opens up your Q window to when you can cast a move now I can hit tracer I can hit unload now and it automatically casts I got granted I got the bug where it doesn't actually do anything which is awesome but tracer Sometimes you gotta love this game sometimes. But Tracer, I hit unload, it's gonna cast. I can hit the move as the cooldown is finishing and as I cast the move. So I can go Tracer, into Fusion Missile, into Unload, and I can make sure that there's no space in between those moves. The only thing you must watch out for about action queuing your abilities is unload. If you hit a button while doing unload, you will cancel the unload 
ability. So don't clip unload. Like if I hit Tracer Missile now, it stops the unload halfway through. I don't get the full damage. So here's the unload, and now you hit Tracer Missile right there. That is the one thing you gotta keep in mind about Action Cure. If you Action Cure your abilities, if you watch your heat, always be casting, make sure to get those actions per minute up. And if you learn the idea of the procking rotation, in that every eight seconds that unload is gonna proc as long as you hit a tracer missile, and you can make yourself in your mind know, okay, one cooldown, two cooldowns, three cooldowns, go. Tracer missile, there's your unload right there. That's gonna help your DPS up. Now, I didn't use power swords throughout this fight. Few reasons. I used to use power swords in my rotation. I would go power swords, thermal, fusion, to give me the instant cast into this. I have seen that has some pros and some cons. It does give you some faster casts, but in case of op fights or boss fights where you need to be on the move a lot, that power source will help you get that tracer missile off on the move so you don't lose as much DPS while moving. Arsenal is a very stationary class. You got your tracer missile on your unload, you gotta stand still for. That is not the same as Pyro. I will leave with one final thought, and this is the thought I have to unfortunately have to say. And in the current game state, which is after 2.7, before 2.8 or whatever else, they, who knows what they might change in the future. In the current state, Pyrotech is actually parsing a bit better than Arsenal. Like I said, Arsenal is better for multiple targets, for ads, you get the armor debuff, but on a single target, Pyro is parsing relatively better by about 200 or so DPS at least. So keep that in mind when you guys pick what class you want to play. If you guys have any questions, you can certainly post them below or contact me. As you see, my name is Rixbo, I'm the Burger and Colony. Hope you all learned something from this video. If you did, I'm glad. Stay tuned for part two, which will be the Pyrotech video.